All right, folks, we are live here on the Brevard Sports right. Network. Sorry, coming to you a little late. We had a uh, prior engagement this morning that ran a little later than we expected it to, but remaining. we are here live. No score here in the first quarter. 8.44 left to go in the first quarter. Again, no score. Uh, you haven't missed much the, the, so far uh, from what I've been able to gather from setting up. If you know Coco, they're always going to have speed. I don't care what age division, offense, defense, they're going to have speed. And uh, we like to thank our two sponsors tonight, today, uh, Candy Shack, the Cavity Shack Bakery, doing all of and Orange Pest Control, Brevard's best pest control service. Located right here in Cocoa, Florida. We will tell you all about them throughout the day, but uh, right now we got the Cocoa Tigers and the Sebastian River Sharks 10U action. Here we go. Now, folks, I will apologize. I I, I only ha I will be listening to the PA announcer for roster names. Again, get, okay, I got the roster. Yeah, I'll, I'll be listening to you and following you. Okay. All right, number three, Smith behind the center. Smith, the quarterback for Coco, under center. Coco. Oh, the ball never got back. And little miscommunication there between the uh, center and the yeah. quarterback. I don't think somebody didn't know the count on that play. So I bring up second down. Second and ten. I'm already impressed. I, 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 I genuinely think we, uh, we saw a hard count here by this Coco 10U squad and uh, a little miscommunication on it, but. And the Tigers We're going to be here home. all day long. The Coco Tigers and the Sebastian River Sharks. Uh, the 11U game, we have the Coco Tigers and the uh, Melbourne Chargers Elite. Caleb Brown here to bring you all the action. Smith under center. And, back, and uh -oh. gives on a little misdirection the to the outside. Oh, he could it. go into the end zone. Touchdown, it. Coco Tigers. Jordan. And that was Mr. Jordan nice play taking it around the, the end line. around into line. the end zone. And there's our first score of the youth football season right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Go ahead, share all to all the aunts, uncles, everyone that cannot make it out to the fields. Let them know they can watch their athlete play right here on the Brevard Sports Network. A-C-Y-A-A. -A. Smith back under center in the I formation. And the snap is back. Smith oh, he gives to the running back. Number four. And number four and be short. will get stopped short. So the point oh, after the is point. no it's good. Quarter in the first quarter. 740 Tigers. left to go here right. in quarter number one. The Coco first. Tigers. Uh, six. Sebastian River, zero. Again, we like to thank the uh, Orange Pest Control. And we'd also l like to thank our other sponsor, the Cavity Shack. Okay. Cavity Shack, uh, you can find them on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook. You can also give them a call at 386-689-6548. Again, that's 386 386- Six eight nine, six five four eight. I tell you what. I'll tell you what. I've yet to have a. I, I have uh, frequented the Cavity Shack on many of occasions at different events. Well, what can I say? I have yet to have a bad dessert from the Cavity Shack. And anyone who knows me and who has seen me knows, I'm no stranger to de to uh, desserts. So here we go, kickoff time. All right. I would like to 
like to remind everybody here we are live. We have BSN in the house today. It's going down right up here in the press box. Again, 10 you. Live from Terrace Scott Field. It's going to be recovered. And oh. nice kick and a good job by the returner just falling down on that one for Sebastian River. Now, to the, any Sebastian River fans tuning in, uh, I don't believe we have we have a roster for, for you guys. If anyone has anyone here for the uh, 14U and 12U, let them know to get a roster up to the press box, and I will make sure we your name gets said over the PA, and they'll be said here on the broadcast. Me and the PA guy are, PA guy are, 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 are working together, and uh, we'll make sure every athlete on this field gets the credit that they do deserve. Also, anyone watching from the Chargers Elite, uh, that that sentiment goes out to you guys as well. The oh, you'll see the eleven U coming up at close to about one. Give or take some minutes. But here comes that Coco Tiger defense. All right, here we go. First and ten, Shark. And they're doing a full line swap. They're going heavy there on that left side. Man, Out of the gun. He's and oh, wow. the quarterback tried to tried to create the cutback Tiger. lane. But uh, that Coco Tiger defense, first one there on the play, Amarion makes the play. Quarterback was going to follow that lead block, thought he saw something open up backside, tried to cut back backside, and Amarion was right there to meet him in the hole and take him straight to the ground. Coming up on seven minutes left to play here in quarter number one. Now for the, the future games, we will have our... Our app running, the uh, the switcher app that allows us to do all the graphics and whatnot. Just I got here a little late and want to make sure I got up and uh, you guys were able to watch this game in most of its entirety. There's a snap. There's the fake, and the quarterback tries to take it on his own. Breaks one tackle, but he cannot escape that Coco Tiger defense. Tyrell Phillips, number 11. What's up, Alex Goins? Tyrell Phillips. With the sack. He came off of that edge, boy. Ooh. You know, there's a team down south named Heritage that calls himself Swarm Gang. You know what? I, 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 you could put that label on this Coco Tiger defense because as soon as that ball was snapped, there was two defenders in the backfield ready to take that quarterback. I'd like to welcome everyone watching here on the Brevard Sports Network. Powered by Natwick Insurance, our two sponsors of the day, uh, Orange Pest Control and the Cavity Shack. It's going to bring up third and uh, trip back to uh, Sebastian River. And the snap is back. There's the snap to the quarterback, and he has nowhere to go. I got two words for number 21. I just got two words. Grown man. <laughs> Number 21 in there. All right, we got a player down. And player down, we do not show injuries, but a Sebastian River shark down. And, uh, again, I'd like to give a big shout-out to our sponsors, the Cavity Shack and Orange Pest Control. Uh, thank you for stepping up and supporting youth and prep sports here in Brevard County. Uh, 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 Bi Billy, I, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, Coach Twan, uh, B B Billy, Billy Palmer says hello. <laughs> he, he, he heard, he goes, that must be Coach Twan on the mic. <laughs> like to welcome Mark, Marcus Co. Davis. Alex Goins, Nelson Compare. Thank you for the kind words, Nelson. 
Don't forget about our cavity sack over here, y'all. I'm looking down at that pound cake right now. Uh -huh. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. That's how you get it. That's how you get it up here. <laughs> Tending to a, a, an injured shark with 5.35 left to go here in a quarter number one. My score keeps up here. We're going to eat good. Pound cake. I want that fish basket first. Then I'm going to get the <laughs> Yes, this is 10U. 10U. Sharks and Tigers. He's doing all right. The uh, Sebastian Shark player being taken off the field. And here comes both squads, and we're ready to play again. I'd like to welcome Mario Cooper. All right, here we go. It's going to be fourth. Is that fourth down? Fourth down. And it looks like 25 maybe, and it looks like they're going for it. Give or take 25. And Sebastian River is gonna, oh, wow. gonna go for it. Hey, you know, sometimes it takes some guts. Oh, nope, he's back. Oh, oh. He's, okay, he's hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, so so there was a hey, punt. Look, look at him. Look at him. He don't go all day. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> he don't go. <laughs> oh, well, boy. Yeah, let's see what we got over here. So there there were some whistles that kind of no stopped that play. No flag. We have a timeout, Sebastian. So there was a timeout, Sebastian. I guess they got that in before the uh, before the snap. Yes, sir. So it'll bring up fourth down and about 25. Let's see if we can get around the field, some of the fields in Brevard County today. Keep y'all updated with some of the scores. I already did the high school score. Everybody know the high school scores from last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coco won't get rolled up. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> high school high school football started in Brevard County last night. Brevard Sports Network has the full high school scoreboard of the kickoff classics up on the page. There were some some surprises. There was uh, some team, you know, some teams definitely got a lot to work on. I, 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 there, there's a lot of youth in the county. I'll say that. And look for for all those that 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 wanted to, we uh, had some aggressive. We had some we had some aggressive fans. Do, do, during the uh, Heritage Rockledge game that we're wanting to write Coach uh, Coach Jiskum. Coach Jiskum off. You know what? Look, Coach Jiskum's got a real young roster. I believe in his ability to coach up those kids and, and you know, the, he'll, he'll get that Rockledge program back back on the roll. Oh, wow. In the 8U division, Vero beats 32, West Melbourne 0. I know, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Big Blue don't get shut out like that, boy. Uh -huh. So as we're we're wait we're waiting for uh, Sebastian River to come out. Five oh seven left to play here in the first quarter of the ten U game. <laughs> All right. They took every second Sharks of that timeout. So the Sharks set the punt back to receive his number and 10 the deep. The punt is, going to the punt is blocked. And, and number 13 on the block. He's going to scoop it. He's going to score. Touchdown, Coco Tigers. Austin Taylor blocks the punt. Not only does he block the punt, oh, wow. but he scoops, scores, and he celebrates. He special teams, or some people like to refer to them, special forces. Mm -hmm. 
Austin Taylor with the block, scoop, and score. And the Tigers will try for the point after. Here we go, the Tigers going for the point after. Line up I formation, Smith under center. Tigers take the snap, hands Smith off, pick, gives it to Taylor. 13, and, he walks in. and Taylor will punch Four, in extra the extra point, and it's 13. Nothing with 5.03 remaining here zero. And I'm just in the first quarter. That offensive line just created a hole so big, I tell you. It make me want to come back and play. <laughs> <laughs> and Coach Twan here is trying to get himself heard, talking about he wants to come back and play. Well, one or two of them good hits to the knees, and well, then, then he's right back up here. <laughs> <laughs> Again, big, big shout out to Coco, Coco Youth Football. Asking BSN to be out here, and you know what? We, we couldn't be more happy. We got lots of youth football coming up this season. We got SVYFL. We got to deal with SVYFL. We got to deal, of course, as you see, with Coco Youth. A uh, couple other programs that, for some reason, are slipping my mind. And here we go. Let me go ahead and turn that. There we go. All right, 5.07 left to play here in the first quarter. 13-0, Coco, 10U Tigers on top of the Sebastian River Sharks. All righty then. We got to deal with the uh, the Satellite Looks Satellite like Beach Scorpions. Beach so you'll see some Satellite Beach Scorpions youth football here on the Brevard Sports Network this Number season. Four, Parker, set to kick it off. Number four, Parker, set to kick it off. And that, that's a nice kick. And it's going to be recovered. Sorry, excuse me, but that's number 14, Griffin. Check that that was number 14. And first spammer of the day, you can get off the page. Have a nice day. Carlin Griffin. Charlie Griffin. Ball's going to be marked right at the 45 yard line. It's going to be first to 10 starts. First and 10 here for the Sharks as uh, they're going to try to rebound. Their last possession ended in a Austin Taylor. Blocked punt, scoop, and score from about 10 yards out. Again, for those watching from Sebastian River, we do not have rostered for Sebastian River, so we're not leaving their names out on purpose. We just we, we don't have names. Sends multiple men in motion. The snap is back. Snap He's back to the to the, the, to the quarterback. Oh, oh, Slips a tackle, oh, oh, and there's a fumble. That ball is. I don't know who got this ball, but number ten had it, and he he saw the end zone. That's what he did. He saw the end zone, and it was number Let's see what the call is. And Sebastian the River will recover and it, I and I'll something. tell you what. 10, Justin Williams, Jr. Justin Williams had the ball, had the the ball in his ball. hands, He's and. Justin Williams. Justin Williams did what, what what we talk about cornerbacks. He got caught peek, peeking at that end zone uh -huh. and unfortunately couldn't keep his hands on the ball. And look, it's going to happen. You know, that's one of those coachable moments. Bring up second down. Looks like about 18 to go. Second and eight to go, or 18. Check that.
4.09 and counting left to go. Second and 18 as Sebastian Rivers. Oh, we have a flag. Looks like it's going to be a delay of game. Delay of game on the Sharks. And, yeah. and I tell you, I said this earlier. When you see that white hat go to throwing that hand in the air, you probably only got about five seconds, maybe ten. <laughs> if that. So, so, so the Sharks come out one formation, and then their coach makes a call from the sideline to, to you know, switch, switch the line, switch the strength of the line there, and uh, that's causing, it's taking a lot of time off the play clock. Hold up, wait a minute, we have a timeout. And out. that's going to be a timeout, Sebastian River. Remaining in the first quarter. We are live. With 3.46 right left to go here in the first quarter. Oh. Ter La BSN live from Terry Scott Field. Again, we'd like to thank our our sponsors, the Cavity Shack and Orange Pest Control. You can find the Cavity Shack on Facebook and Instagram. You can also give them a call at 386-689-6548. Again, that's 386 three, 689-6548. The Cavity Shack, the best desserts in the land, hands down. I, I, just before I got up here, I happened to take a take a look, and, and, and they, they have some of the best pound cake I've ever tasted. I'd like to welcome... I'd like to welcome Jay Sean Smith. Crystal Marie. All right. And here comes the Sharks now. Second and 18. And the quarterback takes a snap. Quarterback takes He's a snap, looking. picks up a cup, may have picked up a yard or two. I tell you, number 21, along with number 12. Number 21 and number Jalen tw Hill, Hill number 12. Hill on the tackle. On the tackle. I just got an update from Fort Pierce. Down in Fort Pierce, the Fort Pierce Red, Firehawk, 28, Melbourne Bulldogs, zero. Not the Melbourne Chargers now, y'all. Don't get it confused. We have two Melbourne leads. We got the Bulldogs and the Chargers. The Bulldogs are right up there around Crane. Chargers on the hood. Okay. <laughs> 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 so here we go. It's going to bring up third down and about 16. They got about two yards on the play. Quarterback going to take it from the gun, and he will be wrapped up in the backfield. Number 11, Terrell Phillips. Once again, you're hearing that name. We got a little extracurricular. little extracurricular going on. I see the flag. And someone, someone must have said something. We have unsportsmanlike against Coco. It's going to be fourth down. Unsportsmanlike, that's 15 yards. So, th 15 yards, but not enough for the first. so that'll put him probably a yard or two shy. Wait a, wait a minute. And let's see what we got here with the white hat. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I think, I'm not sure. I'm going to wait for the white hat. It's going to be an ejection. No ejection. Okay, I'll just wait. I'm going to wait on the white hat. I'm just running my mouth. Ain't nobody told me nothing. Yes, this is uh, El uh, Elias Perez. Yes, I'll this is Tenu. So after that penalty, it's going to be oh, fourth, fourth okay. down. Fourth and seven, actually. Be fourth and seven here for the Sharks as number 37 running on the field. Flowers. The snap is back. There's the snap. And Tries to cut cut oh, back in. Right that Coco defense. You, you're not going to find many cutback lanes back. there. And we have another flag coming. And that flag went high up in the air and down. That usually indicates face masking or something like that. Or some type of personal foul. But like I said. 
I told you, when you see the flag go up in the air like a rainbow, face mask. Some type of face mask or personal foul. And that's going to give Sebastian River their first first down yeah. of the game. And that would give them a first down. Something I know Coach K. Yank Weaver and that defense don't like giving up. Oh boy. So Sebastian Rivers gotten their first first down due to the help of two back to back penalties on back to back plays. Score is 13 0. Uh, Coco Tigers on top. A minute 40 left to go here in the first quarter. And here comes that Coco Tiger defense and that run blitz. Number 21, Amari. They better block him. Number 21, Amari coming through and making the tackle. That's a name you better get used to hearing all season long because you're going to be hearing his name all season long for this Coco defense. Get used to hearing Amari, get used to hearing Phillips. Amarion Breathway was the one on the tackle. So, second and 12 for the Sharks. Oh boy, number four, Jason Parker. Jason Parker with a. I'll tell you what. The sun might be out now, but this dark side defense, boy, I'm telling you, they look like they stand. What a, what an athlete he is. Parker, Parker's been shooting in that backfield all day long. And that will bring us the end of the first quarter with your score. Coco Tigers, 13, Sebastian River Sharks, 0. Again, while we have this break in the action, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors, the Cavity Shack and Orange Pest Control. We got pound cake slices, we got cake trays, and we got three cookies for six dollars right here. Next the Cavity Shack. I have yet to have a bad dessert from the Cavity Shack, and again, anyone who has uh, Anyone who knows me and see me knows I'm no uh, stranger to desserts, so I know a good dessert when I see it. And uh, the Cavity Shack, top of the line right there. And uh, and you, you know what? When, when having all those sweets around the house, you need to contact or Orange Pest Control to make sure those pests stay away from those goodies you got stored up in the house. Listen, we're, 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 we're in August. In, in Florida, August is still extremely hot. Them bugs are still trying to get in. Get Orange Pest Control to get in there and eliminate all your pests. Now they now they, they, they can't eliminate the kids, but you know, they can take care of the, the small bugs. I kid, I kid. Kids are not pests to some. Thirteen nothing, Coco Tigers over the Smash River Sharks. Full ten on the clock for the second quarter. Third and eleven. I'd like to welcome Wendy Fighter to the broadcast. Nice showing by the Palm Bay Pirates last All night. Right. Like the ball is be sitting right at the Coco forty yard line. As it's going to be, looks like third down for the Sharks. Looks like third and. Third and a. Oh. About, yeah, about third and 20. As the play has been stopped. Let's see what we got. The chains confused me. I said it was third and 11. It's, it's third and 20. The, the chains hadn't finished moving yet. Oh Whistle blows the play dead. The 
the snap is back. And oh, goodness nine. gracious. Number nine for the Tigers, Stephen Williams the third. Stephen Williams the third, number came nine. Came from the edge, tracked the quarterback down, and dropped him. And he's just the one that got to the quarterback. There was another three number three Tigers. The game for the Tigers. Denson. Tyreek Denson checks in the game. Tyreek Denton checks into the game. It's going to bring up fourth and uh, fourth and about now 22. And the snap is back. There's, There's the, the snap. And number 21. Breathway. Amarion Breathway shot. I'm about to call CPS on somebody. <laughs> he hitting them, them people's kids like that. He keep hitting them people's kids like that. I'm calling somebody. Amarion Breathway is just, I mean, first the, within the first step, he's already sitting in the backfield. He, you. you know what? He 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 almost reminds me of a very much very much skinnier Dwight Freeney with that quick first step. I mean, it's just boom, one step, he's already right there in the backfield, and he's just waiting for the quarterback to decide, are you going to try to go up the middle or go around? Either way, he will track you down and drop you. All right, the Tigers break the huddle. And the Tigers' offense will finally touch the field again. Smith, the quarterback. He'll be working, looks like, out of the pistol. As the Tigers out in the spread offense here. Two receivers near side, one receipt, two receivers to the left. The snap is there's back. there's a snap. Gonna Looking, he's gonna swing it out to oh, whoa, Williams. Two Williams to around the edge, down the sideline. Three, two, one. Touchdown, Coco Tigers. Steven Williams the third said, quarterback, just dump it off to me and let me do what I do. And look, this 10U Coco Tiger team was trying to take a shot downfield. Uh, Smith did a good job taking the check down and letting, letting and the Steven the do what he does. Steven Williams the third, touchdown Coco. Nineteen zero, pending the extra point. And the penalty is going to be declined. It's going to be a touchdown, Coco. Now we're going to try for the point after the attempt. Again, folks, uh, starting with the next game, we will have our app with our scoreboard and everything up. And I just uh, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I heard the coach call for heavy, and I see heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy D out there, boy. That's uh, <laughs> Smith now lines his squad up in the I formation. That's the goal line offense right there. And the snap is back. Hand off. Hand oh, off. Whoa, I just seen a Cuts back. Block, and I know the real Goodness you know gracious. I, I'm staying out of this one because – that's a point after is good. But I believe the ref threw that because that ball was off his feet. Let's see what we got. Let me see. Let me see. All right, a point after is good with 818. Because I tell you, hey, I would have probably threw the flag too the way that he pancaked him. So that pancake block you saw was called for the unsportsmanlike conduct. White Hat is uh, a very good friend of mine. White Hat is uh, uh, Damon M Damon McGill, and uh, I, I got to know Damon through working seven v seven elite. Oh boy, what a he, right there. Uh, 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 I'll tell you what he. 
he's a good, he's a good and fair official. He 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 is one of the the, the better officials here in Brevard County, and uh, I'm 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 always happy when I see him on the field. So, 10U Coco Tigers lead 20 to nothing with 8.18 left to go here in quarter number two. Number 48 for the Sharks and yeah, number 14, Carlin Griffin set to kick the ball off. Griffin set to kick off for the Tigers. And the kick is going to be on the And that's going to be a squib. And recover. Recovered by the Sharks. At about the 40 yard line. Yes, uh, word for the day is going to be hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I just got a new weather report in, and it says it's getting hotter. <laughs> <laughs> of Coach Twan says he got the uh, brand new weather report. Uh, it's Florida in August, it's hot. Yeah. And. <laughs> Newsflash to anyone who doesn't know that, it is scorching out there. So for all athletes, I don't care, age group, hydrate. Get the fluids in your system, whether you play or not. Eight sixteen left to go here in the second quarter. Like to welcome Miss Sharika Jiscom to the broadcast. All right. Always a pleasure seeing that friendly face. Sharks first and ten from the forty. Number eight's going to try to get around, and he might have gotten a yard. If that, might. And I'm gonna tell you, number zero. For the Tigers, Tavares Hawkins Jr. Tavares Hawkins Jr. Boy, look at him. Was in on the play. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering for. Let the players see the love. Sharks break the huddle. Sharks break the huddle here. They come out in a that, that bunch formation, keeping every you know all receivers and backs, and backs. To, the right side, to the right side, and once again swallowed up by that Coco defense. That's number I mean, number zero. You're kicking, you're kicking too, it, it, number <laughs> twenty-one. Marion, along with number 45, I tell you, you, you choose anyone on, on that <laughs> defense and they there. <laughs> Left, tells her that Riley. I mean, the name just, the list goes on. Marion Breathway, one of the many Tigers in the pack on that tackle. Come in to about 6.15 and counting left to go here in the first half. And the snap is back. Oh, 
And goodness gracious. I'm not going to say his name no more. That's, that's, that's Mr. Phillips. I'm going to let BSN. I'm going to let BSN tell y'all who his name. Don't be picking for I ain't saying that. Listen, uh, he, 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 he's playing like a grown man, so we shall we shall address him as Mr. Phillips uh, uh, from now on. Mr. Phillips came in, and there's there's hitting somebody, and then there's um, borderline taking him out of his shoes, and that, that that's what happened there. It's going to be fourth down. Looks like about eight. Fourth and eight for the Sharks who have only picked up one first down in the entire half, and that was due to two personal foul penalties. Number 12 comes in motion. The Sharks, he get hit off to Mr. To number 12, and number 12 brought down in the backfield. And Jordan comes up and tackles him for a loss. Turnover on downs with 5.06 left to go here in the first half. Coco Tigers 20, zero. Sebastian Sharks 0. Right here. And while we pause for station identification, it's going to be a water break on the field. What do you say that, boss, man? And uh, I'm going to take a break, and uh, while they're taking their hydration break, I'm going to take a hydration break real quick. All right, here we go. All right. First and 10. Ball on about the 45, 44 yard line. Here we go. It's on the Coco 44. Smith gets his running back in place. Smith under center. The They'll take the snap. Hand off. Hand off. Williams Jr. Williams, Jr. Williams down the sideline. And Williams Jr. into the end zone. Touchdown. Coco Tigers. You know, look, that was nothing cat that was nothing but a casual 68 yard. 68 yard first play from scrimmage give it to your back and let him trailblaze down the sideline i feel bad for whoever has to maintain these fields because these sideline areas i mean how do you cut how do you cut apart which chunks are already coming out because that's just how fast these coco tigers are running they making some things happen and yeah, big credit to the the big guys up front. And the Tigers break the huddle for the point after attempt. These backs, they only need one or two steps to get going. Because by that second step, if you haven't caught them, good luck. You you better have the right defensive angle, and even then, might want to ask for that uh, faith and prayer on your side. Smith under center, I formation. And that's going to go to Parker. And Parker comes in. Looking like a mini Mike Allstott. And it's 27-0 with 4.49 left to go here in half number one. 
And uh, folks, this Coco program, for those who are late to the party, they've been legit, and you're and you're seeing now why. <laughs> and I'll give, 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 give a quick free plug and a, and a great shout out to to our good friend from QB QB Photography. Great, great, great shout out. Great, great friends with BSN. We're we're we're, we're happy to to uh, have met him and 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 we're watching watching his business grow. It it, it it's truly awesome, man. So here comes the Coco Tigers on the kickoff. And the kick is going to be high. It's going to be caught. Oh, oh, it's oh, been touched. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And, and it looks like the Coco Tigers have recovered it. Guess who recovered it? Y'all take one. Well, I just want y'all to take one guess who recovered it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? Smart young man, he found the camera and flexed for the camera. <laughs> I mean, he, he special teams, defense. We're just calling his name all, all, all over the place. The future of Brevard County football. I continue to smile every time I come to a youth field because the future of Brevard County football in general is awesome. Like to welcome Stephen Hughes, and the Tigers going Mr. To have the Senior. Looks like it's going to be sitting right at the forty-four yard line of the start. And with that, the Coco Tigers will take over first and ten on the forty-four yard line. Hold up! Hold up! Let me let me <laughs> tell tell him to turn around. Hey, tell him. He's got the Coco Tiger turnover yeah, chain. I love it. Don't worry, we'll we'll okay, we'll get there. that. We'll we'll get that. Yeah. All right. And we have a timeout with four forty six. Don't forget. Coming up at the half, we have the Sebastian Shark, 10U cheerleaders. Let's make some noise for the 10U cheerleaders for Sebastian. Hold on. Let, 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 now he's in front of us. We can get a good look. <laughs> there, there's, there's that, that turnover chain right, right there. There you go. How about let's make some noise for our very own 10U cheerleaders. <laughs> that, 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 that is a sweet turnover two. chain. and. Excuse All me. Right. I was just checking. We can. Coming up at the half, we're going to have a. Do not click the spam kill. links that pop up on our not stream. Really kill, they want your credit card information. They're telling you you can watch the game for free. But if you're here, you're already watching the game for free. So. All right, here we go. From the 44, first and 10 for the Coco Tigers offense. Smith and out of the gun. To He's going to swing it back. Jordan, Jordan to the outside. Jordan down the sideline, and what a tackle. What a shoestring tackle by number 41 from Sebastian River. 
That's a touchdown saving tackle because yeah, if he one. if he does not make it, he's gone. That's gonna bring up first another first down for but Coco. The tackle comes after picking up a Coco Tiger first down. Sponsored by Orange Pest All Control. Right at the thirty one yard line of the Sharks. As we're moving right along here at Jerry Scott Field. Four and a half minutes left to go in the half as the Coco Tigers. They can take their time in the huddle because whatever time they take in the huddle, they end up making up that time when they run their plays. And the Tigers out the huddle in the spread. Coming back out in that, the spread, Smith in the gun. Four wide receivers running back side, car right. And the snap, snap back. Smith he drops back to pass. Deep He's deep taking a shot deep downfield. Oh, and uh, number 10, number 10 Williams, Jr., in and out of his hand. Williams Jr., he had it. And, 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 and what Coach, nice you know, look, that, that's that coachable moment. Coach, coach will tell him, hey, catch it with your hands, not necessarily yeah. with the body. Uh -huh. But, again, 10 you, they're learning. <laughs> but I'll tell you, every one of these coaches have high expectations. I'll tell you this, though. He doesn't drop another pass like that. And that was a beautiful ball from Smith, too. That was, a, again, for 10 years old, that was a gorgeous ball. Smith back out of the gun, running back side car left this time. Two receivers each side. He's looking. back. Going He's going to take a shot. And that one's going to be almost intercepted. And number 15 for the Sharks was already looking at the end zone. There's a dropped interception by Sebastian River. And, and I'll tell you what, the, the, the Sharks sent a, sent a delayed blitzer. And, and Smith had pressure in his face on the, on the delayed blitz there. He's going to bring up third down. For the Tigers. Gonna bring up thir third down. I think this is the first third down I've seen today for the Tigers. What a beautiful crowd here today for opening day of the ACYAA. Yes. Opening day of the ACYAA today. Next week, will I believe, is opening day for Pop Warner. I believe it's opening day for... Uh, MWFCC. Smith gives it to Jordan, and 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 that swing pass to Jordan. Jordan down the sideline, cuts inside, and finally brought down, but not before picking up a Coco Tiger first down. First and 10 from about the 18, 17, 18 yard line. Up 27 to zero with coming up on three minutes left to go here in the first half. I see the, I see the hand up. Damon counting off right. four, and yes, that's a delay game. Oh. <laughs> Two remaining to the half, and that was pretty close. Coach, co coach gets the timeout just barely. And again, we like to thank our sponsors, Cavity Shack and Orange Pest Control. Cavity Shack, give them a, give them a call and, and get your order in of, of amazing desserts. 386-689-6548. Find them on Facebook, 
the Cavity Shack, and on Instagram at the Cavity Shack. And then uh, again, when you get those get those sweets, you know the bugs are coming to get them. No, I, I, I was waving at him. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a bug. Yeah. yeah. When you get those sweets in the house, get orange pest control to make sure the bugs don't get to the sweets. All orange right, or, orange pest control located right here in Cocoa. Smith out of the back. out of the oh, he gun. Fumbled the the he fumbled the ball and. That'll be the first sack. And that's oh, going to be that's going to be un unnecessary roughness. Personal foul on Sebastian River. Against Sebastian. So that'll be half you hear that whistle, it's time to stop, I tell you. Half the distance. So it'll bring up third down and about five or six. It's going to be third, or fi third and five for the Tigers. 2.22 remaining to the half. Right now will be a good time to make your way over here to Miss Louise Kitchen and the Cavity Shack before the lines get too long. So the lines, I'm looking at the line right now. Coming up on about two minutes left to play here in the first half. The Coco Tigers knocking on the right door. Now. And the snap is back. Smith he's looking. looking. He's, oh, he's the Fumbles the football. And let's see what happens. It's going to be Sebastian, Sebastian River creates a turnover. Oh, wow. And Sebastian River trying to give themselves some sort of momentum. So now, can Sebastian River turn turn the turn that turnover into points? That's that's the big key here. I have flat laid down hair and made it long legs and shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> that, that that's a premium deluxe song right there. <laughs> and here comes Sebastian River. And but once again, they got to deal with the speed of that Coco defense. That'll be dropped for about a two two yard loss. Down here. About a minute and a half left to go in the half. This Coco, de this Coco defense prides themselves on keeping zero up on that scoreboard. It's going to take a pretty special play to, to, to break that. And the snap is back, and he's going to be. And quarterback picks up. Might have picked up a yard or two. That was number 11 with the tackle for the Tigers, Terrell Phillips. Terrell Phillips making the play. As we're winding down to the half. Going to bring up about third and seven. 
maybe one more play if, if Sebastian River can speed up the tempo, possibly two, but there's about 25 seconds left. I'd like to welcome Matt Diesel to the broadcast. And hand off. And the ball is on the ground. Ball's on the ground. Wait a minute. And it's going to be recovered by the Sharks. And the Sharks jump back on it. Clock, oh, clock is stopped and a bunch of flags coming in. Unsportsmanlike looks like. It's going to be unsportsmanlike. Sportsmanlike on. Number 10. Number 10. That'll be 15 yards. So that, that will give Sebastian River a first down, but oh boy. that's uh, that's their second first down of the half. Both first downs have come via the penalty. Uh, uh, Larry Harris, let, let me uh, let me find out for you. Forty-six nothing, Coco eight you on top, and this should be the final play. Finally picking up maybe a couple of yards. And that will run us out of the half. But the current 10 you score, Coco 27. Sebastian River 0. We'll be back. Wait a minute. All right. Yes, uh, Larry Harris, that is 46 0. Coco 8 you uh, 1. Coco 8, you won that game, and uh, we're going to keep it right here. The 10U cheerleaders are going to put on a little halftime performance, and as uh, long as they don't have music, we will unplug and allow you to, tr to try to listen in, although they are going out to the middle of the field, and we are quite high up. You'll at least be able to watch the routine. But uh, we're going to go ahead and mute and uh, see you back in about 10 minutes.
All right, everyone, we are back getting ready for second half action. As Sebastian Sharks take the field, and I want to give I want to give a big shout out to those I want to give a big shout out to those Sebastian Sharks fans over there. Let's give a big hand for those fans over there. Sebastian Shark fans traveled they well. Are behind their Sharks 100%. Uh, no, and you what know, about the Coco Tiger fans? We deep over here. What's going on, Coco Tiger fans? Make tell you what. The uh, right. Sebastian River defense Maybe towards the end. Some parent heard Battle of the Fans, and she was going to make sure she was the loudest of everybody. She's ready. Just like, just like she probably tells her kid, be ready so you don't have to get ready. All right, so here we go. We get. <laughs> so here we go. Second half action. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Oh, y'all better get cooler to somebody because the white hat ain't playing today. I'm just letting you know off real. They better get somebody. Listen. <laughs> or they go to count. They, they, they. You see that? Cool, did you see that hand go up? Boy, you in trouble. D Damon there, uh, he, he, he likes being out here, but <laughs> being out in the sun longer than you have to ain't, ain't, right, is not a part of the day. And the Sharks and will kick off to the Tigers. Kicker, number 14, Carlin Griffin. Carlin Griffin will catch the, right. the kick for the Tigers. Looking and they'll take over. First and 10 from the... 50 yard line for this Coco Tigers offense. All right. Just in. Appreciate you, Allen. Zero Beach, Florida. We have West Melbourne 9 U 15. Zero Beach 9 U 7. 15 to 7. West Melbourne 9 U uh, beat, beating the. West Melbourne. Beating uh, Vero Beach. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Up in Treasure Coast, we have the Melbourne 8U42. Treasure Coast, zero. I heard a bit. Of, I heard a thing or two about that Melbourne 8U. I haven't had a chance to see them yet. Oh. 9.56. First play of the second half. First and 10 from their own 49. And Smith sends a man in motion. Oh, 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 and there's an end around. Number oh, nine boy. ran into his own. It's number nine there on, on the carry. Picks up a, a nice gain of about four yards on the play. 
Bring up second down and about six. Smith, the quarterback for your Tigers. All right, what you got? Right house? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been advertising up here. Uh, I got, you know, I got DSN. And then I got, this is our first time at Jerry Scott Field, so we got to, yeah. Mm -hmm. He won it all. <laughs> <laughs> Smith under center. One back in the backfield, two wing backs, one each side. Sends number nine again in motion, and Hill gives it. Stephen Williams. Williams being brought down, but not before he picks up a Coco Tiger first down. And I'll, and I'll tell you what, I, I think you're starting to see some adjustments by Sebastian River. It's not resulting in, in, in losses, but it's... Once again, I want to remind everybody I got my man up here with me, QB Photography. I'm telling you. It's resulting in now, Williams you know, nine-yard gains you rather you. than, right you know, 15, 20-yard gains. But right now, he got a, a special going on with the banners. $40. They usually $60, but now they $40. One back in the backfield, two wingbacks, one each side. Smith, okay, this yard. time, hands off the other direction. That look like my neighbor. Yes, sir. Jordan on the carry. Jordan, who's had himself a nice day today, picks up another five yards on the carry. All right, here we go. And I Smith you, communicating to his backs. That left guard for the Coco Tigers, he's uh, getting some stuff done up there. But boy, look at him. Like Again, they're staying in that same formation. One single straight back with two wing backs, one to each side. Hand off center of the middle to Parker. Rubbing it. Rev like it. Parker. Middle. Rubbing it. Parker <laughs> using his big body, Man, cutting up through the line. JCR Parker. I know a thing or two about him. J.C. Parker picks up a Coco Tiger first down. You know, look, I, I said it earlier, but he, he does remind me of a, a little bit of a, of a Mike Allstott. Oh, yeah. he, 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 he can rumble, stumble, run people over. But, hey, he's deceptively quick now, too. And the Tigers are back on the line of scrimmage, number three behind the center. Look at the left guard. I'd run behind hit I run behind that left guard every play. Hand off up the middle. Parker. There's a, him, and Parker again Take makes a man miss. Sidestep to the end zone. Hey. Touchdown. JC on Parker. And folks, what did I just say the previous play? He is deceptively fast, deceptively shifty. BSN called it out. BSN said he runs with power. But he has a little, a little swift feet. And you were right, I tell you. Touchdown, Coco. Look, the, 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 there are not many kids his size that can, I mean, that sidestep was absolutely beautiful. And he took half the defense ankles with him. And here we go. J.C. on Parker. <laughs> and, and the Tigers for the point after attempt. 33 nothing. Coco Tigers on top pending the extra point. Smith from under center. He's going to give it to his number zero. Zero in with the point. And that's going to be Tavares Hawkins Jr. Tavares Hawkins Jr. 6.59 remaining in the third quarter. 34 0. Coco Tigers on top with six. 59 left yes. to go. Only at Jerry Scott Field, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we do it.
Jerry Scott Field. We are live. Beautiful press box. People, the, the people here oh so friendly to us here at BSN. And uh, as a little of Survivor's Eye of the Tiger plays in the background, as uh, tell you what, this program is going to be one you want to keep your eye on. Just the whole program from top to bottom. And, you know, it's... BSN's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to do. We're going to be do all of these Coco Tigers home games. All right, here we go. Number zero, Hawkins Jr. set to kick it off. And There's the kickoff, and that that is a nice kick. Oh, ball's been touched and recovered by the Sharks down. All right. Just shy of the 30 yard line, probably the 27. Six forty two left to go here in quarter number three. Welcome Tony Green to the broadcast. Joey Shear. 34 nothing. Coco Tenu on top. Again, right. next uh, next game we will have our app. We'll have our app with uh, that has our, our sponsors on it and the scoreboard. I I, I was a little late getting here. We had, a, we had a commitment and run late. Here come the back. Sharks. Hold up. And there. there are whistles blowing that play dead immediately. We have flag coming in from which, the side judge. Which usually signals a false start. It's going to be a false start against the Sharks. False start against the Sharks. That'll back them up five yards. For making it first and 15. From about the 24 yard line. Coming up next, we'll have the 11 U game and the Tigers and, and the Chargers. Four. And I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you, number 21 was the first one to make contact. Amarion. Amarion Breathway was the first Tiger to arrive. I'll give credit he there to. Already made the all defensive team for the ACYAA in just one game. <laughs> <laughs> they went n number four for the Sharks. I'm, he 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 kept his legs churning, and you know, look, when you got the speed of the Coco, you're playing against that speed. It's going to be tough, but if you can keep those legs churning and and, and get that pile moving. And they got to get it snapped in a hurry. And we're going to have a delay of game. Delay of game on Sebastian River. And in case you guys are wondering how much time there, you get 40 seconds from the time the ball is set to call the play. And actually, it used to be 35 seconds, so they, they gave us an extra five seconds. You know what I mean? So. Anywho. Five thirty-five left to go here in quarter number three. The snap is back. There's the snap, and he's gonna go try to go right up the middle. And number four, 
Smith came through there and laid the smack down. <laughs> J.C. on Parker. Said, uh, you can come through the hole, but I wouldn't recommend it. Coming up next, we have our 11U division. Coming up next, it's the Coco Tigers and the 11U Coco Tigers and Melbourne Chargers Elite. like to welcome Patricia Shipman. Miss Patricia, it's always a pleasure to see you. They something special, I'm telling you. You're going to want to see this. They special. And, and there's the back. snap to the quarterback. Hey, and he has just dropped immediately. Yeah, that looks like number 11, Phillips, came off the edge. Mr. Phillips getting his name called for the first time this half. going to bring up fourth down for the Sharks. Fourth down for the Sharks. About fourth and about 15, 16. The snap is back. There's the snap. And he's going to be stopped. And up. he'll be wrapped up after maybe Hawkins picking up Jr. a yard. A Hawkins Jr., Coco Tigers take over first and will pick up Coco. the tackle turnover on downs and as if they need any help it's another short field for this Coco offense. Now, if Coco scores here, that will set into motion the a clock that runs faster than a Coco track meet. Parker in the backfield as the fullback, and that's going to be. There's too many players on the field for Sebastian. Sebastian River got caught with. Uh, at this point, I, I would try to. <laughs> Getting caught with 12 men on the field. I put 12, I make 13. <laughs> Coach Twan said uh, at this point he he, he, he might have tried something like that too. Parker, the fullback. And, the hand off is and there's the hand up to Williams. Williams, Williams oh, around that right side. Williams cuts back upfield, trying to shake off the tackler. Down at the two-yard line, Mr. Williams on the end around. A smooth operator. <laughs> and, and and Smith is trying to call for a little hurry up here. Yeah. Little little NASCAR and action. Right back on the line of I like it. Smith calling NASCAR, NASCAR, let's go. Well, Smith uh -oh. hands it off to Williams. Williams slips out of a tackle. Being pushed into the end zone. Touchdown, Coco Tigers. I just got the signal. I'm about to say these two words. That makes the referee happy. We have moved to a running clock. Uh, but th th there's, an, uh, in, there's an injured shark. A little bit of extracurricular going on out there. Oh, we have a player down. We have a, a, he's up. a shark down, and he is now up okay, walking on his own two man, feet. He's up walking on his own. Always a good sign. But uh, th with that score, we initiate a run uh, the running clock as soon as the referee gives a signal. Hey, all right. All right. Uh, 
as a broadcaster, I, I, I appreciate that, keeping the kid. And <laughs> yes, sir. And oh, for the point after. Snap is going to be handed off up the middle. Big hole up the middle. I don't know if he got in. And he does not get in, but it is 40 to 0. Because of that offensive line, he didn't get in. That was a hole right up the middle. And I tell you. Yes, he did. As the clock is running, right here at Jerry Scott Field. Live from Jerry Scott Field. Come, coming up at close to 1 o'clock. You'll see the 11U matchup between the Melbourne Chargers Elite and the Coco Tigers. And uh, again, we should we should have our app up and running with our scoreboard. And again, I'd like to give a shout out to our gra to our uh, sponsors, the Cavity Shack and Orange Pest Control. The Cavity Shack, not it. hold up, hold up. There you go. They're they're showing off for the camera. I love it. About a minute left to go. The West Melbourne Chargers coming up next game in the 11U with the Coco Tigers, and then we go back to Sebastian River for Sebastian River and Coco right, for 12 and, for 12 and 14 U. I promise I can talk. And here we go. And the kick is going to be back. It's a deep one. And that looked like it's going to go out of bounds. That's going to go out of bounds. And there will be the flag for illegal now, procedure. I have a choice to take it right there. Or have them re kick it. It's going to be up to them. Or they can just take it right there. But. All right, what we're going to do? Looks like they're going to take it right there. It's going to be first and 10. And it's going to take the penalty quarter, right there. That's third the end of the third quarter with your score. And we're moving right along. Coco Tigers 40. Sebastian over River, left, zero. Over here to my left, we have the Cavity Shack. The Cavity Shack, they got Nana putting. La Larry Harris, Nana this Nana this is still the 10U game. Nana put. The, 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 the 10U game is 40 to zero right. currently right now. So we got the snickerdoodle Nana pudding, pound cake slices, cake trays over there, and we got three cookies for $6. Yes. And don't forget about, right over here at Miss Louise's Kitchen, we got chicken wings with fries. We got the walking tacos. We got pulled pork nachos. We got pulled pork sandwiches. I think breakfast is over. Y'all got to get out of here early because they be having fish and grits, fish and shrimp. They still got some fish and shrimp. No? What's up, buddy? Check in for the 11 you. That's cheerleaders and all. Sebastian So here we go. And the, Coco the start of the fourth quarter. The we only thing that stops the clock in. now, the only thing that stops the clock now yeah, is, heaven right forbid him, knock on his wood, player injuries, and, and coaches' timeouts. So oh, coaches' timeouts don't stop it? No, I'm sorry, See, I, I got to get back with, with all the rules. Melbourne, 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 who? Chargers or Bulldogs? The Chargers. 11 U Chargers. We're looking for you for check-in. See, we, 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 with, with covering four, four different leagues, there's different rules, and i gotta, I got to re, re get myself familiar with different oh, wow. rules of different leagues. The ACYA oh, wow. doesn't stop I know I got down with somewhere. coaches' uh, timeouts. One more cup down there. I know something. I'm not trying to hear that. There's me and the clock operator, and BSN ain't got us no cup of banana pudding down there. We boycotting for the rest. I want to now say another thing about the cavity sack. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm being the, the scorekeeper in BSN. Better have us a cup down there. I know that. Oh, I got to say. <laughs> okay. It's going to bring up first down here for. Hey, 
Sebastian River as they have now changed their offensive formation. They've two backs in the backfield. And, and, I'm gonna tell you, and that Coco you know defense, Calvin Harper, Calvin Harper back there. Parker, they must have moved the snap count. They had to know it. <laughs> but they was back there before. Ooh, ooh. Calvin and JC uh, on Parker, but back there just might as well. They might as well pitch a tent in the backfield because that's that's where they live. Once again, we need the 11 U Melbourne Chargers cheerleaders and players over for check in. I tell you, I tell you, I like this. I like this right here. You see that tent? And look who all under the tent. All the offensive linemen. Oh, that's beautiful. Keep them fresh and ready. And I tell you, they're doing a good job. Come on, Tim, you. Let's make some noise for your offensive linemen over here. Open the There's a snap here. to the outside. Oh. Makes one man miss. Makes oh, a second man miss. Oh, Third whoa. man miss. He's telling those blockers, put a body on somebody. Oh, They the money boys. I see they in that cool. Y'all in the right spot. Got the fans. Yes, sir. Y'all getting it done, baby boy. Big hand Pit. for that uh, ten U offensive line over there chilling in the shade. Pit. Picked up only a couple yards, but uh, you <laughs> you uh the, the the quarterback. Once again, eleven U Melbourne Chargers. If y'all have made it here, I see them, coach. They they just made it here. They walk across the street. Melbourne Chargers, y'all need to come check in. Hey, what's up, Ariel? What's up, homie? Yes, sir. <laughs> so here it goes. It's going to bring up fourth down now for Sebastian River. It's going to be fourth down. There's a snap. And, oh. Fakes it up the middle, and he. And, and it's nothing. I tell you what. Whole lot of nothing. Number 44. On the tackle. And I know a thing or two about him. So it's going to be turnover on downs, and the Coco offense will take over. Oh, boy. Just in. I just got something just in from. I heard the next game supposed to be a good one. I heard the next game. As the Chargers yeah, elite. Good one. Y'all better get all your treats before the game starts. As I see the Chargers making their way for check-in over here to my left. The 11U Chargers have entered the building and are heading Chargers, to check-in. But I can tell you something. I know a thing or two about this 11U over here in Coco. <laughs> Boy, look at him. I'm just going to leave that right there. That's the post. Okay, the snap. There's a snap. There. The ball's, on the ball's on the ground. And he recovers it. And uh, co coaching us holler at that. I tell you, there was a big hole on that right side. And 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 and, and, and right now, co co coach is talking to him, saying, "Hey, I get it. It's running clock, but you still got to treat that ball." You, you can't put the ball on the ground. I don't care if it's running clock. Nothing. Four forty-five in counting again. Running clock. Smith under center. And up to Jordan. And oh, up to Jordan. Jordan to the outside. Right He's got the speed. Turns the corner. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Coco Tigers. There's Jordan. 
with, I believe, his second of the day. As the score climbs. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to make mention of that. Because uh, the ACYAA, don't mind sending a letter to your mailbox about the score. I'm just going to put that out there and leave it right there. <laughs> we got a nod from the coaching staff. <laughs> I'm going to just leave that there. <laughs> And the snap is, the quarterback going to take it himself. Smith going to sit. Smith said he wants a part of the action. With three 20 and counting remaining in this contest, the Coco Tigers. A little over three minutes field. remaining left to I'm go. Not saying, I'm not getting a letter. I'm not going to say the show. I'll just say they move up here. They ain't going to write me no letter. <laughs> well. Forty-seven, nothing. I can say that. I, 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 I can say the score because I'm, I'm, because, because. Uh, right <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pretty good with the with with the members of the board of on ACYAA, and uh, I don't think they'll send BSN a letter. <laughs> I'm pretty good with the Palmers, you know. And uh, so again, this is the ten U game. Two and a half minutes left to go. Then coming up, we're going to log off this broadcast and start up the 11U broadcast. Hopefully we'll have our scoreboard. We'll have our, our banners with our sponsors, making sure that they get their proper thanks and, and, and their respect. Again, the Cavity Shack, best desserts around. I don't care. If you want to argue with someone, go argue with Jesus. Um, and then, of course, Orange Pest Control. Orange Pest Control voted voted the best pest control here in Brevard, located right here on Coco, just just off of Cox Road, actually. So again, the the Cavity Shack. And Orange Pest Control, our sponsors throughout the entire day here on Brevard Sports Network, powered by Natwick Insurance. Hawkins Jr. set to do the kicking. Coach Zellum, you better put that in the end zone. And the kick is back. And it's on the ground, finally recovered by the Sharks. And that's a that that, that that is an injured shark. And uh, he's up back walking under his own power. So the Coco Tigers are going to win this one, forty-seven to zero. All right. Well, y'all, y'all gonna have rotator cup uh, surgery in a little while. <laughs> y'all keep winding that arm up, white hat boy. Have to rub that thing down tonight. And the clock is now it back in motion. And I think this one here is gonna be over as we're winding down. Yes, sir. Maybe time for one more play. Coming up, the 11U game between right. Coco Tigers and the West, or in, and the Melbourne Chargers Elite. This next game is going to be a hard-hitting contest between the 11U Coco Tigers and the 11U Melbourne Chargers. And the snap is back. There's a snap, handoff, makes a man miss, and brought down in the backfield. And that will do it, folks. Coco Tigers 10U picks up. A 47 to nothing victory, and so what we're going to do is we're going to log off and get our program ready to run this next game between the 11U Coco Tigers and the Melbourne Chargers Elite. Be sure to tune in. Again, congratulations to the 10U for a 47-0 to victory.
as we